And the last thing I wanted to say is that if Brandon, you could place your hand on top of Julia's. This will be the last time that you have the upper hand. This was all Just a little token there because I think Julia might have it from now on. I'd like to conclude this speech by saying now that you're married, Brandon, always share the blankets. Always keep twisted teas in the house. <laughs> and when you fight, do it naked. You'll either end up laughing or doing something else, but at least you'll forget why you were fighting in the first place. May God bless you with a long, beautiful, fulfilling life and future together. Cheers, everybody. Julia, before we are unified as one, I want to promise you a few things. First, I promise to always be by your side, in this life and the next. I will never leave you. I will treat you with the respect and dignity you deserve. Every day I will try to make you laugh, especially on the days we are taking life too serious. I promise to comfort you and protect you all of my days on this earth. I know we will face some obstacles in this lifelong marriage, but I am confident we can overcome anything as long as we try our hardest and keep God first. This day is nothing short of a blessing. We have come so far together. You have made me the happiest man alive. I will try every day to make you feel the happiness I'm feeling today. about the good things to come and i believe it could be something good has begun no. Hi babe, we're finally here. It's finally the day we've been waiting for. I'm one lucky lady. If you asked me 10 years ago if I seen myself standing at an altar, I would have laughed. But we have both become the amazing humans God wanted us to be. I couldn't have asked for a more supportive, strong partner. God put us in each other's lives for a reason. You are so loving, caring, and sometimes funny. I promise to continue asking for back rubs every night. I promise to support you and always have your back. I promise to always put you and our marriage first. I promise to continue being a great chef, but I won't cut the crust off your PB and J's. <laughs> I am honored to change my title from fiance to your wife. I love you. Now I been crying thinking about the world as it is. Why must we go to warm hating? Why can't we live in bliss? Cause out on the edge of darkness There rides a peace train Oh peace train, take this country Come take me home again We are gathered here In the presence of these witnesses Join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This ceremony is to be entered into reverently for the benefit of you two who now come to be joined. I charge you both as you stand here 
in the presence of these witnesses to remember that love and loyalty are the foundations of a happy home. If you keep these vibes, your life will be full of joy and your home will be peaceful. Forever could never be long enough for me to feel like I've had long enough with you. Ready? Get the world now, we won't let them see. But there's one thing left to do. Now that the weight has lifted, <laughs> love has surely shifted. In my way, marry me today and every day. Marry me if I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe. Say you will. There are no other vows more sacred than these. Brandon, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in good health and forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? If you promise and agree, say I do. I do. Julia, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in good health, and forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? If you promise and agree, say I do. I do. Before we are unified as one, I want to promise you a few things. First, I promise to always be by your side in this life and the next. I will never leave you. I will treat you with respect and the dignity you deserve. Every day I will try to make you laugh, especially on the days we are taking life too serious. I promise to comfort and protect you all of my days here left on this earth. I know we will face some obstacles in this lifelong marriage, but I am confident we can overcome anything as long as we try our hardest and keep God first. This day is nothing short of a blessing. We have come so far together. You have made me the ha happiest man alive. <clears throat> I will try every day to make you feel the happiness I'm feeling right now. Hi, babe. Hi. We're finally here. It's finally the day we've been waiting for. First off, you look very handsome. I'm one lucky lady. Thank you. If you would have asked me 10 years ago if I seen myself at an altar, I would have laughed. But here we are. We both become the amazing humans that God wanted us to be. I couldn't have asked for a more supportive and strong partner. God put us in each other's lives for a reason. You're so loving, caring, and sometimes funny. <laughs> I promise to continue asking for back rubs every night. <laughs> I promise to support you and always have your back. I promise to always put you and our marriage first. I promise to continue being the great chef I am, but not to cut the crust off your PB&Js. <laughs> I am honored to change my title from fiance to your wife. I love you. And now by the authority vested in me by the state of Wisconsin, it's my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Let me kiss your mouth. I 
now present to you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Rentaria. As a token of our vows and our love, with this ring, I the way. I, Brandon, take you, Julia, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and good health, to love and to cherish, <laughs> until death do us part. I, Julia, take you, Brandon, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in good health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I am so happy that my sister is marrying into such a wonderful family. First time you guys make some noise for Julia and Brandon. I'm so grateful for our sisterhood. We've come such a long way from hitting and digging our nails into each other and throwing lip gloss containers at each other. But that's what happens with sisters. And Brandon, I know it's cliche, but I literally couldn't pick anyone more perfect for my little sister. Ready or not, here I come. Where you at? The night is young. In the crowd, the music's loud, but I will find you. Ready or not, here I come. I like your face, do you like my song? Just sing it. La 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 la, and I'll find you. Ready or not. For those of you that have been witness to their love since the beginning, you know Julia has been head over heels madly in love with Brandon since the instant she met him when I introduced them at church of all places. <laughs> I had known Brandon already for a couple of years as we were part of the same friend group after or around high school, and I'd say the same was true for him. They instantly clicked and were pretty quickly inseparable. No matter what trials God placed in their path, they always managed to come together stronger and more in love. Brandon's always been there for me, and he's always been a great friend, and very loyal, and somebody I could call really anytime, so I really value that in you. And also his family, Dylan, Eric, Felix, and Terry, um, people I could always depend on. And I appreciate everything, and I'm so happy to be here, and I love you, and it's, I can't wait to see more and have the best marriage.
Thank you. Yeah. So who's gonna love you if it ain't